Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about array and array methods in JavaScript. In the last video we have discussed about objects and the properties of object and how you can create a function inside the object. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go ahead and check that out. So let's create a new file and name this file as array.js and we are going to declare a simple array. Let's say const let's say the array name as a call and an array should always starts and ends with a square bracket and inside the array you can so let's put a value inside a cost let's say bmw and let's say ori and in javascript it is not necessary that you should always put a string you can put any data type as you want you can put a boolean value you can put a numerical value you can put a decimal digit as well so let me print that out and see whether it's working or not so using a node array dot JS, we can execute this one and if you see here it print the content of the array so if you want to add a one more item to this array you can use the array name followed by dot and you can use a push and you can add one more content let's say bins and if I put a print statement after pushing this item to the array, you can see that this array got updated with bins as well. So the next thing is, so let's see how you can iterate through array. You can iterate in n number of ways through an array. So let's see a normal way using a simple for loop so for let's say let i is equal to zero and i should always be less lesser than the length of this array because i starts with a zero and this length return the number of item in an array so if it starts with zero it should be lesser than the length and i plus plus oops that's it if you print the cost of i you can get those items one by one as you see here so this is a uh, one way of iterating even you can iterate this using a for each loop let's say cost dot for each and here you need to use an arrow function so i have created a for each actually for each is a method so inside the method i'm creating an arrow function and this arrow function accept an element let's name this as element and during each iteration one element will be passed to this for each arrow function for example during the first iteration bmw will get passed and in the second iteration audi will pass to this parameter and during the third iteration this true will be passed to this parameter and as we used arrow function we have to create a syntax like this so inside the arrow function you can do whatever you want to do you can manipulate, you can add some element or you can alter the existing element or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to print the element so that you can see how this iteration works. So it works similar to the normal for loop, but this for each works quite faster when compared to for loop. And whatever we have seen so far is a one-dimensional array. Let's see how the two-dimensional array works. Okay, so just assume a blank Excel sheet. 
let, let me open that Excel sheet. So this is a blank Excel sheet and this two dimensional array works in a rows and column wise. For example, let's say you have a record at two. So let's see how to convert this into a two dimensional array. So const, let's say data and this two dimensional array also begins and ends with square bracket and inside the square bracket you can find a multiple array so here we have four records right so let's create an empty four array and this very first array represent the rows in the row one and this represent the rows in the row 2. So to put that 5, 10, 15 and 20. In the second we have 6, 11, 16 and 21. In the third row we have 7, 12, 17 and 22 and in the fourth row we have 8 13 18 and 23 that's it so we have created a simple two-dimensional array let's print that out and see how it works let me comment out this one so you can see the structure you can even compare the structure with this excel sheet when you're working with a two-dimensional array you have to just think of an excel sheet in mind so you will get a clear picture on how you can alter your data and how you can manipulate the data as you want and using a for each loop also you can iterate this two-dimensional array as well so apart from the for and for each loop there are other array methods like reduce map and filters are available in javascript so it makes the manipulation much faster we will discuss that in the upcoming video and this is a very basic video of array and methods in javascript so that's it for this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care